Hey, what's up, people? Here today with you with my first Cosmic Legions figure. Um, as you can probably tell, he's a variant kind of uh, Manny Face. It's one of the tribute figures, kind of like I've done videos with other Mythic Legions where I've got a couple of the tribute figures for other motif characters. Um, this one they actually did with the Cosmic Legions. And really, really cool character. I'm loving this. Um, you might be able to notice. I have him out of the package already. I ordered him, got him pretty cheap on Macari. And for some reason, I had some credits on Macari. I don't know, like $10 off too. So I got him even cheaper. But came in just a plastic, um, oh, the inner plastic. They didn't have the card back or anything. So I'm not able to show all that off. And if you follow me around, see me like on Saturday nights on Oz's, um, Ostradamus Toys, the clubhouse, I did open him up there just so I could kind of know where all the pieces went and everything because I'm not too familiar and like I said my first Cosmic Legion so all pretty new to me but I did want to do a quick little video kind of show him off because I'm just looking at him and everything last night he was an amazing figure so I'm just gonna bring him in a little closer we'll do some little comparisons and stuff here in a second um yeah just the detail on these are so cool like I'm so used to the Mythic Legions but this Cosmic Legion one man you just got this shine to him and everything and just totally different than what I've had before so I'll look around real quick I'm um, comes with different heads bust those out real quick I'll throw those on in a second um you got like the regular man face head the human face and yeah I think this is kind of like a vampire from the oh from the mythic legions but it's the monster face that many faces has and then this crazy looking robot head which is like totally totally different than the robot face we have but just Really, I don't know, just really different and cool looking. I like it. It's got some clear uh, clear plastic right here where you can see through to the inside of it. I don't know, we'll check it out more when I put it on there. And a couple of hands since I already opened them already. He has two of these gripping hands, which he came with both those on. And then two of these oh, um, trigger finger hands. So I have one of those on him as well for his gun. And also this big dome that will go over... One of the, um, the robot head at least, I'll try it on here in a second too. I was kind of playing around with them last night and didn't get a whole lot into them, but yeah, we'll check them out real quick, get a little closer look. Um, comes with this head, the uh, humanoid head, and has this like knight's helmet. And I kind of thought, oh, that's going to be weird having that on like the, oh, this spacesuit type body. But I really like the look of it. It looks really cool, I think. And then especially when you pop the helmet up too. He looks so great like that, I think. Now, I'm trying to straighten him out, check him out, straight on like this. This helmet doesn't really snap on all that way. This is removable as well. I mean, this faceplate doesn't really grip on all that well. This helmet looks like you heat it up, you could probably get it off too. It doesn't really want to snap on there, so just kind of be careful with it. Also, that bubble head too, that bubble that comes with them, I'll show you guys when I get to that. Let's look at them straight on. Um, yeah, just this, I don't know if you can tell on here, but that metallic paint, like the orange and the blue and everything on him, it's just so cool looking. We'll go down. He came with these little, oh, these clear pegs. They look like, got four of them. And I guess they're to attach the weapon to. Um, the weapon has a little hole on the side. So if you want to take his gun off and stick it on like his arm, these arm ones are a little smaller and these ones are a little longer so I believe these ones go in the back so if you want to take his gun off and have him hold it on the back back here oh the whole peg came out let's see yeah if you want to put it on the back here another place to hold his gun and what somebody in the chat last night told me too is um, with these Cosmics too, you're able to use some of these little pegs and put guns together, like make bigger guns, I guess, or something. Like I said, this is my first Mythic, so I have no idea. I don't have any other guns right now. But yeah, that's what those are for. I was kind of not sure about them. They said they look like earplugs to stretch your ears out. But then once I put them up, I kind of figured out where they go and everything. Yeah, okay, just putting his gun back in his hand. Man, I just love the gripping, uh, the pistol grip hand on here with the uh, uh, trigger finger. It just holds it so perfectly and looks so great. I really love that when a figure is able to do that. Like, it comes with, like, the pistol gripping hand, and it actually fits in there, too, so you don't have to, like, mess with it too much and get where you want it. 
That just sits in there so perfect. I don't know if you can see it right there. That looks amazing. Uh, everything about him is just so cool. It's, I'll continue to go down. You kind of take a look at the legs and everything on him. Really robotic, space-like on everything. It's just so much detail on this. It's just amazing. Get to the back of him. He has this big, huge back piece. And this is removable as well. If you wanted to take this off. Yeah, so you have some of those same plugs that you have for oh, Mythic Legion. So you can attach some other stuff here. And then maybe like shoulder pads if you wanted to. I don't have anything that would actually kind of match up with this blue color. So there's nothing that I really want to throw on him to kind of try and decorate him anymore. Just look at him like that without it. I wanted to check that out. I'm going to pop that back on real quick because I'm going to need it here in a second. Uh, I'm going to get to is that bubble I was talking about, the dome that comes with them. Um, see, I think, I think you could kind of get over that. doesn't look right with that. I think it's more made for this robot head. Because even with like this monster head, um, came with these, these little spikes on the side where you have to attach them once you open them up. And those don't really fit inside once you once you put it all together either. So I'm pretty sure only meant for this robot head. So I'm going to put that robot head on next. I'm going to check him out like that. Put him back a little bit. And then this kind of just sits on top. It doesn't clamp on anywhere. It does fit over the back here. And then has a little groove in the front that goes over this chest piece. So let me see. Let's get them in frame right there so you can check them out. So it's a pretty cool look to them. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it. I like them better without it. Let me take it back off again. Just looks more manny face without it to me. I mean, I guess if he's up in space and can't breathe, but he's a robot at this point, so I don't know why he would need it. It does fit on this Masterverse one too. I like I kind of like the look on there a lot better. I've been putting on on there. I might end up just leaving him on that instead. All right, last I'll get to is uh, Monster Head real quick though. Throw that on there so you can check out what that looks like. And this is also another really cool, very alien looking with this one. I really like the look of that. Let's see. Yeah, and that's very reminiscent of the monster face on the regular Manny faces with oh, the green face, the red eyes, and the teeth and everything. I mean, you can tell right away that that's what that's going to be with that. Not so much the robot one, but like this one and that original face. Just screams Manny faces. You can tell right away who it's supposed to be. So he does kind of, he has the full leg armor too on here, which like this Manny face does too. And then like, oh, this is the mini comic one back here. Um, so the other original one, oh wait, no wait, I'm lying. I confused myself. I have the main comic one over here. He has the full pants. Once I started looking at him, I was like, that's not the main comic one. This is the one that has that kind of better skin tone, not quite so orange. I was thinking that when I pulled him out too, it were not so much yellow. This is more yellow. I do prefer the orange. Um, I like best having like that more of a oh, flesh tone. And that's what's really cool about this head. I think I'm going to pop this back on too because I think this is my favorite head on him. I just like the original human man face look. Let me pop the helmet open. You can see. Yeah. I think this is a really cool look because you're still getting the orange armor, but then like the flesh toned face. So this is how I really wish that we could have got like this one. And then this one, the, what was it? The main comic one is a little more flesh toned. Not quite what I wanted. I'd really love for it to be more this color. And the same with like the Masterverse one. Like I really love this figure, but man, they, he is like really bright orange. You know, like I was saying about the pants though, I guess this one has the full pants. So this... Matches up with like the original look, I guess. That's the original look of them. So he does match up with both of them. Man, this is going to be the first time that I ran this problem with like buying Mythics or anything. Um, With these other heads, I'm kind of wanting and wishing that I had two other figures. So I could display them both ways because, man, like some of the other Mythic Legions, they come with multiple heads and stuff. And I kind of pick one, but he looks cool with all three of these. So, man, I, like, I don't know what to do. My... Somewhere down the line, if he doesn't end up going to Skyrocket Price, maybe pick up a couple other ones. But I'm really looking for some of the other uh, Motu Tribute ones. I know I got like the He-Man Skeletor ones, which are going to be out of my league. Like the prices on those are just insane. But I'm really hoping to pick up some more of these. I think I'll bust out some of the other ones I have real quick. All right, I went ahead and brought in the rest of what I have already. Um, the ones that I've picked up so far. I've done some videos. I think I've done videos on all of them. So if you want to see any of them a little closer up, Go back check out some of the older videos 
Not too bad. I'm up to what's there, seven of them now. So I'm gonna move them out the way real quick. Check out the rest of them. Really love that. I don't know any of them really by name. Um, but like, oh, what's the name? Like Stratos back here. Really love that figure. The one that's like Moss Man. He is awesome as hell. The Shira. She's pretty. I mean, all of them are cool. <laughs> the, the little Stinkor is still funny to me. They they made him small character, but just all of them. And that Webster is just so amazing. I love him too. I customized up my Hordak one. I just showed him off recently when I did my last Hordak video. But I think this Manny faces for some reason. I don't know if it's just the paint or what, but he really stands out to me. He is just amazing looking. I love the look of him and just he just really pops out. And even though he's like a Cosmic Legions and these are more like the sword and sorcery type things, being that they're all Motu, he fits in perfectly. I think like you could tell you could tell who all these are supposed to be, and he just really works. But that's going to be it for this one. I'll probably wrap it up. Um, yeah, I am looking to get more of these. So if anybody that happens to be watching, if you know any like, the other Motu ones I haven't got yet, see them at any decent prices and stuff. I mean, not outrageously expensive. Uh, feel free to contact me or hit me up, comment, or let me know. I am looking to pick up some more of these. Like I said, that He-Man Skeletor will probably going to be out my price range forever. But um, I'll figure something out eventually. Maybe some trades or something one day in the future. But thank you for checking out. Hope you enjoy. Um, if so, you can do the good YouTube stuff for me. Like, go subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll be back with you as soon as I got some more stuff to open up and play with. So once again, thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.